The S990 is uh, Vision Research's uh, first foray into the machine vision camera market. We took the sensors from, from our movie cameras and we integrated it into a streaming version of the camera. One of the problems uh, using uh, one of our uh, regular cameras in the machine vision world is you only get certain number of seconds of video and by taking the front end off of our uh, video cameras and putting it into a streaming camera you can get unlimited video and do whatever kind of analysis you want. It uses the GenICam protocol. What's great about the GenICam protocol is it's an industry standard protocol. Once we implemented it we could take any frame grabber, use their application and it works great right out of the box. So the GenICam protocol is great. It made it easy for us to integrate our camera, makes it easy for you to use it out of box. There were certain things that our camera does that it didn't handle, so we had to invent sort of our own ways within the protocol to make that work. In order to get the speeds that we want, we had to do stitching. Really what we're doing is each of the four ports on one frame grabber of the four frame grabbers does two rows at a time. So frame grabber one is gonna give you rows one and two, and then frame grabber two is gonna give you rows three and four, and so on, and then it wraps back around. So coming from frame grabber one is gonna have one, two, eight, nine, 15, 16, and then the second one and so forth, and then you just have to put them together to make a whole frame. And the way that you would do this is have four frame grabbers running at the same time, and then grabbing those images um, in, in post-processing, stitching them together. And so basically, if you have four frame grabbers, you'd get two lines in each of those frame grabbers consecutively, and then later on, you can stitch those together in order to get a full 4K image that you would have streamed at 938 frames per second. So the GPIO is uh, cool because it allows you to have some external features that can embed their way into each image that you're taking. And so you can kind of tag your image with different events or a timestamp, or if you had a multicam setup and you want to synchronize the images, you can trigger and have that cascade through and have everything be synchronized. Because we started from our, one of our movie cameras, you get a rolling shutter mode, which the movie industry likes. Uh, most industry uses global shutter. It's got slightly lower, but quite good dynamic range as well. And then the bright field mode of the S990 will optimize the image for the lower colors and lower grayscale values. The semiconductor industry has been very interested in this for silicon wafer inspection. We've had a lot of good interest from different biomedical companies um, doing some cell analysis and high speed imagery um, on the cellular level where they think the high speed full 4K uh, image can give them a boost in their product's performance.